Hey, hey. How to shoot? Uh? Shoot like that law. Tick tack, tick tack. Hi everybody, you are watching How to Shoot. In my previous video, what is Vlog, I did mention how to use waveform monitor and zebra to help us expose our footage while we are shooting. But what is exactly waveform and zebra? Hmm. Zebra pattern really serve more like a warning alerts to part of the image that are too bright or overexposures are almost about to be clipped to pure white and zebras appear directly over the problem area. Basically the waveform monitor is going to give you a very quick representation of your camera is seeing in terms of light value from pure black to pure white. Both features are actually help us to measure the brightness level for our footage. In the same time, both are also performed in a different way. So, what is the difference? In waveform monitor, it shows the highlight level in different way. This image is a gradient from black to white. Let's go from pure black gradually to pure white. And have a look at the waveform from this image. The left of the frame we can see the pure black and it slowly ascends to the pure white as we progress to the right edge of the image. So this is how the waveform monitor works. Here is waveform monitor from GH5S. As you can see, it's measured the exposure level from 0 IRE to 100 IRE. And IRE is the standard way of measuring brightness value from 0 IRE which is completely darkness of black to 100 IRE which is completely blow up of white. Everything in between is all the brightness value and generally where your image should be. So when you're shooting or when you're exposing for your footage, the waveform can be there as an exposure features that can help us monitoring our exposure level. Zebra usually measure in percentage. I can adjust the zebra to be how sensitive I want them to be. If I want to control my highlight area, not clip to the pure white, so I will set my zebra in 80%. That means when my highlight level reach more than 80%, the zebra will only appear on the screen. For that reason, I will overexpose my footage. In the meantime, it also allow me to adjust my highlight level in the post production. There is general guideline of how to set zebra and waveform monitor. And of course, you can set your own guideline however you want and also depends on your scene. And this guideline just my personally what I do with the waveform monitor. My preference exposure level will set between 20 to 30 IRE to 70 AD IRE. And you can see from the waveform, the reason is I still retain some shadows and highlights. It allows me to do more adjustment in the post-production. For the dark area, you can see it's around 20 IRE and I still can see the details what actually in the shadow. So I will allow the shadow area stay between 20 to 25 IRE. The same thing with the highlight area. I try to make sure the brightness area is somewhere at 80 IRE. And of course, it depends on the brightness of the environment. That will be as high as I will go for the highlight level because I want the highlight area roll off nice and gentle so it retain all the information and detail. I always using this waveform monitor and zebra during all my shoot and make sure all the footage is exposed correctly, especially shooting vlog profile. If you haven't watched my previous video, what is vlog? You can click the subscribe button and look for the video. Before I end this video, remember like our Facebook page and subscribe our How To Shoot YouTube channel. So that's it for today. I'm Nixon and thanks for watching. Hey, how to shoot, uh? shoot like that, law. Tick tack, tick tack.